what's up guys welcome back to the channel for another reaction guys so i'm going to be doing something new today i'm going to be reacting to the isle of man um the world deadless motorcycle race okay guys yes well first i'm going to be checking it out i thought it would be very interesting to watch okay guys yes i know you guys will comment down below and let me know what you all think about this one you know as the channel go along i'm trying different reactions checking out different stuff but we see all right yes yeah, so let's check it out guys let's check it out okay Connor Cummins, I'm 28 just, and uh, I race motorbikes for a living. The Isle of Man TT race is the oldest race in motorcycle history. It is considered to be the hardest and most daring racing still allowed. In 107 years of racing, there have been 242 deaths. Four deaths occurred this year. Oh, wow. You hear that? different to anything the race on public roads on super bikes with more than 200 brake horsepower big sticky fat tires on them <laughs> a big strong place in my heart. Riders complete six laps throughout the race with each lap measuring 37.5 miles in length. With over 300 turns, competitors race at breakneck speeds averaging 130 miles per hour. no I suppose that you could say there's a little bit of fear but like that's to me I think I see that as a good thing it settles you when you're riding wow that's what I was wondering if they're not afraid like riding like that it's like even when they're going around the planet the bike is like practically like on the ground like can you imagine it is your line it, it, <laughs> like that rush that it's supposed to give and for me it would be a fear and scared oh, wow. you know you're riding hard and you, there's a line you sort of you don't cross you know and i think that fear sort of controls that a little bit i mean don't get me wrong it doesn't have to you know obviously with the danger side of it you can be hurt and and worse mm -hmm. let's be realistic here you know yeah you know there's been some severe things that happen you know and um sometimes wow. it doesn't have to be the individual's fault, you know. Wow. Well, I had, yeah, 2010, I had a big smash uh, at the veranda on the, on the mountain road of the TT course. I lost the front end at 150 plus mile an hour. Ended up going over down, you know, over a hillside and uh, cartwheeling down a hill. And uh, yeah, next thing I knew, I was in hospital with uh, a broken back, a uh, dislocated knee, um, and a bust arm. You know, it's it's pretty horrendous, but that was that. And this is now, you know, it's all it's all behind me and um, something uh, I've, I've forgotten about really. And, 
you know, it's took a lot of getting back from, to be honest. It's um, took a lot of strength physically and mentally to get through it, and hopefully I'll start seeing the fruits of my labours. Wow, like, like you say, it takes a lot of strength physically and mentally to get over it because something like that happened to me. I know I wouldn't be getting back on another bike, and like you said, he's back on, he's back there, and he good get you the fear and he get you all of that. But wow, it seems so dangerous and scary. <laughs> Now we'll see. I'm on the best bike in the grid. I feel alright. <laughs> uh, all I do, I don't get carried away with predictions or anything like that or any of that old nonsense. It's just whatever I'm feeling on the day. If I feel good, you know, I'll push because my bike's good. The Honda Fireblade is it's a brilliant bit of kit. And, uh, you know, I'd love to do myself and the team justice by getting a good result tomorrow you know and there'll be no one trying as hard as I am. Needs no build up from me here we go the PokerStar Senior TT the big big race of the week one minute less than eight miles ahead and Connor Cummins is on Glen Crutchery Road now so we'll just see if Connor slots into second place you can see all the BMW boys about to greet their charge there is Connor coming slowing up Connor is in second 14 seconds down throughout a grueling race Connor Cummins is in a battle for first place against Michael Dunlop despite a neck and neck race Connor comes in second no one's forcing anyone to do this race at all no one's forcing me to do it I want to do it I'm fully aware of what goes on. That's it's down true. to me. Everyone else is the same. There's not one man in that paddock who's signed up wow. because they have to. It's because they want to. It's as simple wow. as that. Now, at the end of the day, I'd only stop if I, if I stopped enjoying it. If I, if I wasn't enjoying my racing, then this place is not the place to be riding a motorbike. You know, all I could probably say is, you know, they were doing something that they, they loved, riding a motorbike. Hello and enjoying themselves, you know. You know, it's very easy for me to sit here and say that. I, I wouldn't like to be in anyone's position who, who's grieving right now, you know. Um, but hopefully they would take some kind of comfort in the fact that they were enjoying themselves and, you know, doing, doing something they wanted to do. dangerous and scary to we like we who watch it like the spectators to them it's not like he said it's something that they enjoy doing and what they like to do and they you know that's something that they um no one forced them to do they decide to do it themselves like they say um would that take comfort into people that lose loved ones that they will remember that that person was into what they were doing and they enjoyed doing it so yes guys me i'm a scary cat but just watching it my heart is like pumping like seeing it especially whenever they go around the bend my heart is like can't imagine me doing it but it's very exciting to watch at the same time very exciting to watch i enjoy um listening to the clip and i'm checking it out okay guys yes i know you guys will suggest more down below okay so remember to like comment and to subscribe and i catch you in another reaction guys bye